What's up guys? Back again and it's CGE week. Yes, it's finally here. Classic Gaming Expo in Las Vegas is here and I'm super excited and super pumped up to go. Hopefully some of you guys are going to make it out. Uh, as you can see, you might see about a hundred games missing back here. Turbo Graphics and PC Engine games and those are going to be going with me to the expo and uh, they'll be for sale and for trade. I think it's about time I get rid of all my doubles and uh, maybe pick up a couple of uh, items I'm missing and uh, finally make a few bucks, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, so this is like an all, another all turbo pickups video. Just wanted to show some stuff uh, I picked up uh, the past month. Uh, a couple of loose ends and some just random stuff and some interesting items I picked up. And just wanted to share them with you today, uh, so you guys can uh, check it out. Uh, first off, uh, there's this really cool dude on uh, on NA actually, which is kind of I know kind of hard to fathom, but uh, actually I've met a pretty cool people, some cool people on there. And uh, there's a really really cool dude on there who, uh, whenever he finds turbo stuff, always hits me up and just passes me some insane deals. And uh, I think this lot he sold me was I think a hundred shipped, and uh, it came with the following. I uh, got uh, another copy of uh, uh, Parasol Stars, uh, another copy of Shockman, a uh, copy of uh, New Adventure Island, a copy of Packland, and an extra copy of R-Type. Uh, those are all duplicates, uh, so those will all be uh, available for sale or for trade at CG as well. And uh, he actually had a PC Engine game, a loose one. Uh, I kind of wanted to get this game complete, but I did want to play it. And uh, that is Parodius. Freaking awesome, amazing game. Uh, why NEC didn't localize these games in the U.S. Uh, beats the hell out of me. So uh, that was pretty cool as well. And uh, another item he tossed in as well was another copy of the uh, Gate of Thunder promo disc that came with the Turbo Duo. Comes with Gate of, Gate of Thunder, Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge, and then it has the hidden Bomberman if you enter the right code. It is just a loose disc, and uh, this will also be up for trade as well. And he had a bunch of leftover pamphlets that he tossed in. A lot of them are old Turbo uh, Zone Direct uh, flyers, uh, which are pretty cool. I used to have all of these, and uh, unfortunately tossed them out back in the day. But it's kind of cool to pick some of these back up. These uh, Turbo Zone Direct uh, uh, flyers and stuff, um, sale advertisements and stuff when they were doing like their buy two get one free. Um, I mean, they had some crazy deals. Get a free Turbo Tap if you buy any two games. Uh, I mean, check it out. You, there's like a buy three for fifty bucks, and there's like a magical chase on there. Uh, if we can go back to those days, that'd be freaking awesome. Uh, here's another duplicate of that same mailer. A couple of others. Uh, let's see what else. And then uh, this is the uh, the Dungeon Explorer Two. Unfortunately, it's missing the little cover, but it basically had a bunch of the new titles. That were coming out for the the duo at the time, which is kind of cool to add. Uh, some other little promo pamphlets and an instruction manual for Turbo Graphics 16. So for 100 bucks, insane deal. Like I said, when he comes to me, when he finds extra dupe stuff, and I'm always glad to pick it up off him, help him out. He helps me out as well. Uh, an interesting item actually. I was at a thrift store at a Savers. I was looking through the CD section, and uh, I noticed I saw a little. NEC Avenue logo. So I, at first I thought they were PC Engine games, uh, but they weren't. They were actually audio CDs. Uh, I guess at some point, at one point or another, NEC Avenue actually started a record label. And it's kind of trippy because if you look at the um, some of the uh, CDs, they have the AV logo, the Avenue logo, which is kind of cool. Um, they were only a dollar, so I just grabbed them just for just because the fact that they were NEC, and it was just kind of weird and kind of crazy. Um, on the PC Engine FX forums, picked up a really neat item actually. This was, I guess, a promo uh, that was given away to uh, subscribers of, uh, of, of a PC Engine magazine in Japan. And it comes with this cool little box. And uh, it, I guess this was probably mailed out to customers. And it was like just a free item, I guess, they gave out to subscribers. But it's a little uh, CD holder you put together. And it lets you stack up some PC Engine games, which is kind of cool. And uh, this is new in the box, and I think I picked this up for 15, 15 shipped, which is pretty, pretty neat. It's kind of nice to have promotional items like that. Um, another gentleman on the PC Engine FX forums led me to a pretty cheap uh, uh, eBay sale for a game that usually goes for maybe about 150 bucks. 
and uh, this one actually no one bid on it and I was actually able to win it for $80 it's missing the uh, spine but it uh, is Fawcett Amore it's a really cool game actually uh, that's one awesome thing about the PC Engine there's, I mean there's still games that I've never ever heard of or ever played and uh, he told me to check this game out it's kind of like a Valis meets uh, Drac uh, Dracula uh, X or you know um, a Rondo of Blood uh, Castlevania X for the PC Engine it's like a mix between Valis and that it's actually pretty cool. It has some pretty cool music. It's a, it's a little, little quirky, but it's actually a lot of fun. I've actually been enjoying this game um, a lot. So if you guys uh, can find this one cheap out there, definitely pick up Fawcett Amore. So uh, another interesting item. I'm a huge fan of basically you know anything NEC, anything PC Engine, anything Turbo, and I was able to scoop up another pirate item. This is the Sidearms Two in One uh, pirate cart. It's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, it looks kind of budget, actually. has the kind of sidearm sticker on the front. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of raised. I guess the EPROMs are probably in there. And this is kind of covering. It's probably looks like it's glued on. Um, and uh, nothing on the back. Basically, uh, there's two games in one. I believe it's sidearms and... Uh, one is, I, you know, I don't recall the other title that's on here. But uh, uh, some more really, really interesting stuff. PC Engine... Uh, clone cart. So I think these are made in China. Uh, pretty interesting. I paid, I think, uh, 29 bucks for this. So that was pretty neat. Uh, I did scoop up a, uh, a case and map for Bastille. Uh, it's missing the game. It's just, uh, there's no manual. Um, so it was only like 10 bucks. So I happen to be on eBay at the moment. Just kind of picked it up. And so if anyone out there is looking for this, maybe they have a loose disc or the manual. I uh, want to piece this together. Um, It'll be up for trade or sale. So if anyone out there is looking for that, I got that. And last but not least, a buddy of mine did uh, pick up a PC Engine GT from some gentleman. And he happened to have some games available. Um, I probably paid about going rate for these titles. But uh, the fact that the guy was local and he had them, I had to jump on them. And these were uh, Bomberman 94. Bomberman 93. And the original Bomberman for the PC Engine. So uh, I believe, I think I paid $30 for these, which is probably about the going rate. I think like Bummerman, the first one goes for like 5 or 10 bucks, and these two can go for about 10 or $15. So um, like I said, it was local. Didn't have to actually uh, order them from Japan or anything like that. Or you know, uh, So that was kind of neat to be able to pick them up locally. So um, that's pretty much everything. Um, probably not going to pick up anything else. So I'm going to see how things go at uh, the Classic Gaming Expo. Uh, hopefully I'll make some good sales or trades. Um, if you guys can make it, definitely make it out. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you're in Vegas. Um, you know, I know there's other conventions in other towns, but I, you know, after the convention, what do you guys do? Uh, probably nothing. <laughs> but in Vegas, man, there's just so much to do. Uh, if you guys like to party, like to drink, like to booze it up, or just kind of hang out and lounge around in the pool, uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a lot of cool guys going. Uh, so if you guys are going to make it out there, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, we have a table, a uh, little booth uh, at the event. So uh, we're going to use it up as a little meeting spot to kind of meet up with other YouTubers. So if you guys are going to be there, hit me up and let me know. Um, we'll try to get the booth number and then, like I said, just stop by the booth, say hi, say what's up. Uh, might have a couple of consoles set up. Maybe we could play some games. And then we'll probably have some little after parties in the hotel rooms, uh, just gaming it up. We'll have some Neo Geos. Maybe bring a, I might bring a PC Engine or something and... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll play some games and have a good time. So um, until next time, guys, uh, this is uh, Syfix signing out. Uh, hopefully you guys are having some great pickups out there, having some a lot of fun, uh, you know, gaming it up. Um, and uh, you guys all take care. And uh, until next time, take care, guys. Lights.